I'm excited. I have fried pickled chicken. Hi everyone, Paula here. This is Cooking with Paula Darlene, and I am very excited that you have joined me today. And if you're new, welcome. I do this as a hobby. This is just something fun I like to do and share um, different recipes. Today, I'm going to be doing uh, chicken uh, soaked in pickle juice, and I'm gonna deep fry it. So, this is my first time baking it. So, um, I'm anxious to see what it tastes like. And then today, on our, we're having some sides with our dinner tonight, so I'm gonna do some white navy beans I've cooked in the crock pot, as you can see. I've had this in there since yesterday, so I've pretty much been cooking all day. And then we're gonna do some rice on the side as well. All right, so we're gonna begin, and I'll show you the steps that I'm gonna be doing, and what it looks like, and the outcome of the chicken. I got my chicken over here, and this is the juice that the um, chicken is sitting in. And this is the pickle juice, and I had I had soaking in them all night. And I had it in a Tupperware bowl. I just transferred it over to this bowl. And I have my flour. And then I'm going to be using an egg wash to dip the uh, chicken in the egg wash. And um, so that it will, that it will um, adhere to with the flour. That's all I'm doing, there's nothing else in it. And then of course the flour. And then the flour will have some just basic seasonings, garlic, uh, seasoned salt, a little paprika, um, uh, a little bit of onion powder, just basic, nothing, nothing fancy. And then once I transfer this, out of the flour once I dip it in the flour, I'm gonna put it on a cookie sheet. Okay. All right. And then I'll fry it. Pickle juice, and the chicken's been soaking in all night. And I'm using thighs, and I'm just dipping it in the egg wash. Just doing a light batter, I took the skin off, but I did leave the bone. And this was soaking overnight. So. I heard good things about soaking your chicken in pickle juice. It'll be my first time trying it. Like I said, I'm just doing four or five of these. And I'm just laying this on a cookie sheet. I will say though, the chicken did get a little discolored, a little bit from the pickle juice. Um, on the ends where the fatty part was um, the skin um, it had a little bit of discoloring to, as well to it and uh, but it wasn't bad it just had a tint of pickle juice on it a little tint of green and I rinsed these before I stuck them with the pickle juice and cleaned them up a little bit alright and then Now white, I didn't do the white meat because I was afraid that the pickle juice would kind of look a little bit too discolored. 
with the white meat, but I'm sure it would have been fine. It would have been fine. Move over to the fryer. Pretty good size. Some big old thighs. I was really impressed with this chicken. Marinating in the pickle juice really tasted great. The pickle juice wasn't overpowering at all on the chicken, and they actually complemented each other. Definitely be doing this again. Being that I cooked this with the thighs and the pickle juice together, I'm going to try the breast meat and deep fry it and see how it works with the pickle juice. If you all haven't tried, pickle juice marinating with your chicken, I definitely suggest it. We will be making this again. All right, y'all, thank you for watching, and I hope everybody's enjoying the videos and that I'm inspiring everybody to cook and try different recipes. Remember to subscribe and like. Look for new videos coming up. Okay, so as you can see, I took my spaghetti out of the, out of the pot, and um, I've drained it, of course, and uh, I stuck it in this little bowl right here, and I'm going to add some spaghetti sauce to it, add a little olive oil to it, keep it from sticking. Okay, 
Now, back to my sauce. So as I said, um, I took the spaghetti out of this pot and I'm going to reuse it. And I left a little bit of water in it. Um, and it's actually the water a little bit from the um, spaghetti noodles, uh, the starch. It's going to help um, with my sauce that I'm fixing to start. Um, I get just from all these or whatever. And it's not a paid promotion ad or anything that they're asking me to use the product. And it's nothing like that. It's just I prefer to use this sauce. It's, um, it's mild. And it's got a, uh, a lot of flavor to it. But I like to add more flavor, which we all do to spaghetti sauce. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm just adding one jar right now, and then I'm going to, I have some ricotta, and I'm going to add some ricotta to my sauce with my hamburger, and I'm probably going to just use about half of this, I'm not going to use the whole thing, then I'm going to take like oh my goodness um, I'll take some cream cheese just a little cream cheese because I'm adding a kind of a white sauce like a alpana sauce and I'm using about a quarter of this I don't want to use too much I'll make it too rich okay. then I'm gonna add a little bit of sour cream to um, bind it together and um, and to soften the taste a little bit and I'm just going to use about a quarter cup this is on low so we're going to put it on medium low and we're going to just stir it in and let the sauce heat there's a few noodles in there and I'm going to let the sauce build. Now, I've already added a little bit of garlic to my meat and some Italian and basil and seasonings and all that in there. So we're going to let that finish cooking with it. I'm not going to add much any more seasonings than I have to because I don't want to overpower it. 